Good evening and welcome once again to Straight from the Sky. I'm your talk show host Bobby Avila and tonight we have a very, very beautiful and progressive mayor of the municipality of Cordoba whom I already predicted will soon become a city of Cordoba. And yes, uh, we are here to talk about the future of Cordoba and we are here to talk about the mayor herself and She's married to a Korean, Charlie, Charlie Cho, and yes, it's uh, not an everyday thing that we see a beautiful, uh, what you call, mayor of a town in Metro Cebu, and yes, uh, she is the daughter of my good friend uh, who is a legislator in uh, Addis Itoy, uh, Legislative uh, Assembly. Presidential Legislative. Yes, Presidential Assistant, Layasana. yes. And uh, Adi is also with me in our groups in uh, Binisaya. And he's a, fi a fighter for the Visayan language. And so we will be back with Mayor Cho after this break. Please don't go away. Agal! Parang internet mo? Get the Sky Fiber Super Speed Planks, up to 200 Mbps for fiber fast days. Switch to Sky Fiber. Mo? Get the Sky Fiber Super Speed Plants, up to 200 Mbps for fiber fast days. Yay! Switch to Sky Fiber. Thank you for staying with us. It's really an honor to have with us Mayor Teresa Tichi Sitoy Cho and the Mayor of the Municipality of Cordoba. And really, she's not here on a Zoom, she's here personally in our uh, studio and it's a great honor for me to have the daughter of Adi Sitoy to be the one who will talk about Cordoba today and so it's going to be a very uh, what you call educational process for our viewers because for me Cordoba has a very great future for Cebu and so we're here Mayor, Maying Gabi 
Salamat ka, ni Arika. Maayong gabi, Sir Bobbit. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me here. Actually, it's my honor and privilege to be here uh, in your show. Thank you so much. And uh, this is my first time to be with you in a talk show. But this is the second time to be in a talk show in here in my TV. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. So th thank you so much for inviting me. Well, really, for me, uh, you, have, you have a very, what you call, big future in your hands. Because uh, two weeks ago, I had a, uh, what you call, um, Zoom interview with Alan Alfon of the Cebu Cordoba Expressway link that will link the third bridge from Cebu City to Cordoba. And complete na siya sa video in the young padad ang ko four K ng video. It was very clear and it gives me an idea that when the bridge is done, the future of Cordoba will also be enhanced greatly. Yes, sir. That's true. So I hope uh, you are prepared for that pre future when I'm saying prepared because right now going to Cordoba is a two-hour trip and uh, in traffic. I'm talking about before the COVID. I'm sure with the COVID now, there's a traffic. But uh, uh, under you, I'm sure you have good plans coming. So, But before we go to actually your municipality of Cordoba. Let's talk about Tetsi Sitoy or <laughs> Tetsu. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, um, I am the uh, daughter of Secretary Adi Sitoy, but uh, actually um, I, I'm an illegitimate ch child. Mm, mm. But uh, I, I really did, didn't have plans to uh, enter politics. Uh, I was just an ordinary person and I, I really wanted to be a CPA lawyer before and I, I also wanted to go to America and um, pursue my uh, being a CPA there and a lawyer but nikalit uh, lang na abut pud ang akong husband I met my husband you met Charlie there yeah, <laughs> before I went to America so na detour <laughs> na detour <ng> sa Korea, <laughs> wala sa Amerika sa Korea na, mm. so um, maybe it's really destiny nga maapil sa ko sa politics because um, what the plan was uh, we just stayed in Korea, maotoy among plano gyud, but uh, nikalit lang po nga na ay project akong husband here uh, na ashay business uh, venture so dito mi Davao mga 2009 and then up to 2011 and then 2012 papa proposed that um, he will get me as his uh, running mate to be vice mayor so that was 2013 election so you won the vice mayorship yes yes sir so uh, paghuman ni daog ni daga naka kay Di naman siya kadagan, so dagan na kagmayor. That was his last term, 2013 <laughs> last term, yeah. to 2016. So, um, giplano na na ako iyahang uh, ipuli. Yeah. So, when I was the vice mayor that time, I urged to uh, study governance. Mm. So, I took up my uh, masteral in governance sa University of Makati. And mm. I also got the um, executive doctorate uh, leadership in, le in leadership sa UMAC, Human University of Makati also, before I pursue to be the mayor. Which so, is very good. <laughs> yes, yes. Sir. Which for me is very good. Panagsara ko kadugong og mayor nga nakakuha o doctorate on governance. Yes, sir. Kasi karang mayor, puro graduate o high school ra or college. I really intended to study, to have the theory in governance uh, aside from the practical matters. So, para mas, ano, mas maayo ang pag, ano, pag servisyo. Correct. Uh, uh, so you have to understand that uh, like uh, many of us are also uh, what you call promised to serve our people. Kay kami bitang mga nasa media, kung ano naman may servisyo naman sa lungsod. 
Yes. Um, well, uh, being a UP student before in high school, dako sa tug factor sa ako ah, na naami mga nakatunan sa University of the Philippines to love our country. Mm. Uh, so, dito na ako nakuha yun ang uh, unsa nga maka, makabayad. Mm. Uh -oh. And then, when Papa told me that um, he wanted me to be the mayor in the next three years, so I really prepared myself. Uh -oh. So, para uh, mas maayo ang pang-administer and pag-servisyo sa katawahan. Pag-administer sa munisipyo o pag servisyo sa katawahan. So right now, ang munisipyo sa Cordoba is in the same place? Yes, sir. Huwag yun ka mausab? Um, no, uh, naami katong old building. Mm, katong old building? Katong old, the oldest building, already the museum na karon. Okay, museum na uh, yun. Uh, <laughs> and then, sa ground floor <laughs> na, ang tourism office. Mm. So the tourism department, mo ay nai nag, ano, uh, nag-manage sa building karon sila na ang nag-occupy og ang mga kung naatay mga bisita ngadto makita ngadto ang mga relics mga mga sa una nga mga butang ka eh, didto gipamutang ni papa iya hapong mga cert, mga uh, remembrance uh, <laughs> mga trophies <laughs> para sa munisipyo daghang kena isag mga nga uh, what you call speeches yes. na in bisaya kay kana imong papa kuan magyuna siya kanang uh, what you call a uh, staunch nga kuan jud sa bisaya nga mo fight this binisaya yes ludabi and ludabi fact, oh so mm -hmm. ludabi na siya. Eh, he also wrote the dictionary yeah uh, the correct. Cebuano to english yes <laughs> And I hope my mong husband nakakibaw ng bilisya. A little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, my husband also stayed here in Cebu because he is the uh, president of Cebu Korean Association mm. for eight years already. So, na is Cebu Korean Association. Yes, sir. So, I'm sure nga kung ano siya nakatabang nagmayo kay karong panahon na raba, dagang mga negative sa kanang social media about Filipinos in Korea or something. Mm -hmm. uh, pero ang Korea, di mo gina, di man ni mo ma, di man ni mo ma tago ba? Kay ako asawa, for instance, na buang o Korean telenovela. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, they really influenced us. Kaniyang mga uh, novelas, mga K-pop. K-pop. Yes, oh. yes. Uh, mm. uh, it has a big influence uh, ato ang ano uh, mga tao. Kaya ako, yes. mutanaw ko movie, kay magkuha naman ko earphone. Ako asawa, magtanaw na siya sa keep ka ng kulina telenovela. Klaro na English subtitles. Uh -uh. Muna, gasigara na ako kwarto. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, well, Koreans are also grateful of Filipinos. Yes, yes, I know that. Because we've them during yeah, the war. During the war. Oh. Mm -hmm. Kaya, kuhan ka ng Korea, kaya nakato, Kadaghan ng kukatukul, magkatulo tayo ng kukatukul Korea before Korea became famous. Mm. Uh, because I help a company called Transform uh, that brought in the Dai workers. And uh, I went to the shipyard of Dai Wu in uh, Okpo Island. Mm -hmm. Niya, yeah, helicopter may dito. Uh, I also learned that the mayor of Okpo was, was really uh, the choice of the the kind of Korea, the of of the war. Mm. So, kisa yung mayor karon, mudaog kay tungod ang chairman sa the war mo ni Billy. Yes, yes. <laughs> <coughs> Maodo ng to sa Korea. Even Samsung also can interfere the politics. Yes, yes. true. Dagko man ang mga kwan mga dagko ng kompanya. Yes, pero <laughs> well, they have good system. Yes, yes. Korea governance. Uh, they're, they're, they have really good system in governance. And I admire their system. Yeah, and in fact, the uh, Kuklimot uh, one time and drive me sa Padomis golf course. Bungko ang ilang silbing ilang kuryente. Layo sa daan. Namutala ko sa kung ano man eh. Inyong kuryente siya. Sir, kung naibagyo din ninyo ni Katumba, anak, dili mo babag sa daan. 
Mm. So, they anticipate. Ako, no? Yeah. Yes. Then, na sila kanang sa ilang bukid, kaya na helicopter man may, mm -hmm. uh, na sila yung gabion dams. Hapit kada iskin na sa, sa, sa bukid, na gi what you call a dam so that the water will not run away into this into the shore. Oh, yeah. They have really good uh, infrastructures. That's really true. Best, the best. And even tunnels sa mga bukid-bukid. You don't have to kanabang muliko, liko-liko ang dan. They go straight. Mobita na ako. Ganaw na ako. Nakita ko na sa una kay ang kaning Cebu kay naman tayo Transcentral Highway. Ako muna-una ang akong gitanan na lang ni Ritsura. That's true. Muna yung malagay kong ang Korea no pa yung trabaho din he. Wapunta. One thing good sa Korea, no earthquake, sir. Yeah. Unlike Philippines. That's really something really worth looking into Korea. We'll be back with our guest. Okay. Mayor Cho after this break. Please don't go away. Ay, may lag. Parang internet mo? Get the Sky Fiber Super Speed Plants. Up to 200 Mbps for fiber fast days. Switch to Sky Fiber. Kasi, parang internet mo. Get the Sky Fiber Super Speed Plants. Up to 200 Mbps for fiber fast days. Ako, single. Switch to Sky Fiber.
Thank you for staying with us. Where I want more with uh, Mayor Cho. And let's now go into uh, Mayor. Uh, kumusta mang imong COVID problem diha sa Cordoba? Kay baw ko stricto kay mo sa Cordoba. Mm -hmm. Kay akong anak who lives in uh, Ahoya, uh, di pa sudun usahay kay until na na siya katong apur. Uh -huh. uh, Nakakuha siya uh, permit sa Philippine Airlines. Uh -huh. Stricto kuno kay mo. Grabe sir. Ka actually, um, pagsugod yun sa COVID, uh, from March to April, or even to May, we only have two cases. You only had two cases? Yes. Uh -uh. Kung wala lang to mauli sila sa Cordova, actually, ang first case was, she was from Manila. And mm. the second case was, katong PDL. Mm. Gikan sa Prisuhan, sa Mandawa City. Buanga, and, no? Oh, nahatod sa Cordova. Nga na na siya COVID. Buanga. Oo, oh, oh, so, that was... Mura gito, ang amuang cases, two hmm. cases. Two cases. Uh, from March to May. Pagkadto ng June, uh, nagsugod na ang opening of borders. Uh, nagsugod na tong eh, GCQ. Hmm. Dito na, ning rice Saka na. Kamay. Yeah. And uh, accumulated cases na mong is 179 as of today. But uh, the active cases is only 12. Karon. So that's not bad. 12 is not bad. Yes, and our casualties is 14. Ang nangumatay? 14, yeah. 14? Oo, uh -oh, but naana sila yung pre-existing conditions. Well, naay gasturyan ako ang kanayon na ng 14. Masood ko nung nag-usa ka-truck. Mm. Ang kanang mga patay, masood ako nung nag-usa ka-ambulansa. Oo. Oh. Kay nga no, sa Korea, gamay, gamay sa kayo nang matay. Mm. Kay nakakat on sila o uh, what you call how to already kanang social distancing yeah. before pa yeah. Yeah, kay tungod sa SARS before mm -hmm. kay naka unlike sa karon nga nakalitan ang kalibutan kay kaning uh, covid-19 uh, does not really care kung kinsa ka mm -hmm. may go kag kuan basta yes. ra na to sa atong uh, governor doc exo on sa atong governor nga matay si Nelson ug si Marlon. Yes, sir. So, if you think about it, bisag taas kapag ranggo or taas kag kuan, does not matter aning COVID. Walay pili. Walay pili. Yes, sir. Magdato kag pubre. Yes, and ang nakamaut sa COVID is we don't know the effect on us until it strikes us. Yes, that's really true. So, kuan yun, let's be vigilant lang yun. Maintain the health protocols apply anywhere mm. actually three basic health mm. protocols regard the social distancing washing of hands or sanitation yes and um wearing of face mask yeah mm -mm. so kana lang yun ang timan an sa pub public while um we are resusc resuscitating our economy yes kay di man pud mahimo nga we just stay at home Correct. all the oh. time and until when wala na kwarta wala na kapalit ug bugas oh. yes that's really true so that's why um, when governor opened governor gwen opened the tourism uh, re reopened the tourism uh, ako ning suporta gyud ko sir kay uh, actually sa Cebu tourism is our main industry that's true mm. that's true mm. right pag 2019 we were really better than the entire philippines when it comes to the economy The yes. tourism economy, I mean. Yes. <coughs> Now, uh, kung diha ka ng resort din na sa Cordoba, nga, guwapo ka ito sa una, ni Addo ko. Mm -hmm. Kaduha ko ka ito ng Daplin sa kuhan dagat na resort. Uh, na kami daghang resort. Karon daghan na, yes, yes, I heard. Mm -hmm. uh, our four-star resort is Solea. Yeah. Uh, by Gotong. Mm -hmm. uh, and na ay mga ginagmay like... Um, Uh, Gabi Resort and napod to'y pinakadaan ng mga resort ka ng Cordoba Reef. Ah, kana, kana yes, siya. Muna, uh, Cordoba Reef. Uh, muna. Si Marina ko din na mo ay nagdaan na sa una. Yes, by Mr. Talmo. Yeah. Uh -oh. And nami, ano, mga ginagmay nga resorts. Cordoba Home Village, uh, Asela, uh, Alta, Alta Resort. Uh -oh. Yeah. So, yes. these are what you call 
nagatabang sa inyong ekonomiya. Good. Yes, yes. Um, okay, not only that, hastang mga tao na trabaho are living within Cordoba. Mm, and we depend mm. on tourist good. Yeah. Mm, so, kuan good ang ekonomi pag sugod sa COVID. Uh, so, nalipay good mi nga giri open ni Governor Gwen ang tourism. And now, uh, naana po yung mga nag nanuroy, nanay na nga to, uh, mga turista, local tourist actually. Local, oh. uh, so, at least ang mga tao, like uh, especially kato mga namaligya o ginagmay nga uh, tinda-tinda, like rest, gamay nga tindahan, restaurant, nakasugod-sugod na po. Yeah, kay katong mm -hmm. kampanya pahis nga restaurant na diha. Yes, lantaw, lantaw na. Yeah. And the 10,000 roses. Yes. Yes. Papula, wa jo ko kita ana. <laughs> Adto niya, <yes>, sir. <laughs> wa jo ko ka lugar kay uh -huh. at that time dugay na man kay tong na wa jo ko ka wapo ko do kana tanaon. Mm. Although it's plastic roses, but uh, kwa kwa ana mo retracto, uh, wapo ka ayog resulta. Oo. Uh -huh. yeah. Actually, ang 10,000 roses was really um kanabang we did not expect nga mahimo siyang tourist destination. Yes, that's really uh, true. It was just our uh, kanang gift to Papa, to Sakadi, mm. uh, during his birthday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nga, murag, instead of uh, giving him flowers, we gave him that those 10,000 roses. <laughs> uh, to As mark for Cordova, landmark, mm -hmm. kahit tungod sa third bridge na uh, mo mo agi at tungad to the pit. Yeah, mo so agi when, you, pa, when you when uh, you use the third bridge going to Cordova, uh, you will see the ten thousand roses at the right side. So uh -huh. I'm sure kaning bago nga bridge will become a uh, I already told uh, Alan Alfon nga uh, that will become a tourist site in itself because the bridge has four spires, uh, cable cable stage spires. Nya na cross, yeah. nya kanang cross nga upat kabuok will also be our what you call significant to, as a Christian nation. Yeah. So it leads to Cordoba, and doon na lang kayo, like I said, sa una si Giming at to kanang plantation bay, problema kay mig uh, kay tungod sa dugay. Mm -hmm. So karon doon na lang kay after that kay gatan ako sige sa yung construction they really really moving fast yes sir actually they really wanted to finish it on September 2021 yeah but uh, due to COVID uh, na ay gamay delay na, na delay sila mm. kay hastang ilang what you call they expected foreign workers to put in the cable stayed uh, cables kay mga Europeans man Mm -hmm. And they could not fly over to the Philippines. Yes. They canceled the mga flights. Yes. Yeah. Muna siya yung nakapastop. Yeah, not to mention, the, 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 there was a time na uh, usak semana sila na undang kay na uh, nisaka ang ilang COVID mga, mga workers. Yes, sa ilang workers. Yeah. So, yes, sir. now they were forced to put in a, what you call, barracks in their compound. So, yes. Lipay kay ko nga, at least by doing so, they, they did not really stop fully ang ilang construction. Yes, so, yes. they are really now expected by September next year, abri na kita. Mm, yeah, yes, sir. And possible. Uh, so, and hopefully ma human ang bridge by February 2022. Yeah. Mm. Kung, uh, by that time, ako ang gipredict na isa o na kay lipay kay kung ano nga, nga, nga what you call development project because dili siya mo interfere with the present traffic conditions already. Mm -hmm. Kay wa na siya dan na gagian nga mo babag. So nakagwapo ang ang project ka kay it really goes all the way to the airport. Yes sir. Uh, actually <coughs> nag nami preparation for the third bridge uh, nag pa himo mi o coastal mm. coastal road, coastal highway. Mm. Uh -huh. sa uh, Pilipog to Gabi. Yeah. So the uh, commuter, ano, the kaning mga muagi sa bridge, muado sa, naasilay choices. 
yeah. to go to Babag or to go to Marigondon. Yeah, uh, true. That is for the meantime, but Mega Wide is also talking to Cicelec for the Skyway project, the Retro to Airport. That's true. That's yes. a very, very good uh, project, like I said. Uh, <laughs> The future of Cordoba and Saligit and on Third Bridge. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and that is, uh, we are looking at the future Lady Mayor of the city of Cordoba. <laughs> and we'll be back with her after this break. Please don't go away. Thank you. Bilis maka sound trip. Ganyan sa Sky Fiber Super Speed Plans. For today's look. Bilis maka ganda. Ganyan sa Sky Fiber Super Speed Plans. Oh! Elu pare. Bilis maka VK. Ganyan sa Sky Fiber Super Speed Plans. Thank you for staying with us. We're now halfway to the show, talking with Mayor Teresa Chichitoy Cho. And yes, the mayor of the municipality of Cordoba. And yes, we're talking about the future of Cordoba, which might become in the newest city in Metro Cebu. Kaya karon ang Metro Cebu, usa na malay munisipyo. Ang Cordoba na malang. So, ang Kapulapo, siyudad na, ang... 
Mandawi. Ng Mandawi, siyudad na. So, it will become a huge city para na ako in the future. And so, going to Cordoba will no longer be a problem when the third bridge is open. And so, we are lucky to have Mayor Cho with us to talk about the future of Cordoba. So, today we talk about the infrastructure of uh, plans ninyo. Yes, sir. So, oh. let's, let's talk about, kadang yung guwapo tong ikuan ni mo sa Gabi River. Mm. Yes, we have this um, coastal highway yeah. uh, in preparation of the um, third bridge yeah. na na. So we need to have um, other options na padulngan sa mga tao. Yeah. And um, they can choose Babagway or Gabi to Barigundon mm. way. And uh, well, Sisalak is also talking to Megawide about the skyway directly to the airport. Yes, that's yes. really true. Uh -huh. okay. Ako nang gidiscuss po, not only the ones I talked with Andrew Harrison of uh, Megawide and uh, with also Alan Alfon. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, nga, it is imperative that uh, you should also make sure that it is an easy access towards the airport. Yes, and we are also talking with uh, Mayor Ahong mm -hmm. for a um, for a new road going from Ibabaw, our barangay Ibabaw, mm. to Sungtungan, Lapu-Lapu, mm. directly to Basak and to airport. Yeah, yes. guwapo na, guwapo na. Uh, so, uh, hopefully, matuman the next three Di, years. Yung, kanan yung coastal road sa gabi, <laughs> para na ako, is a very good one because, uh, a shortcut na lang going to Ahoya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which my son, <laughs> my son lives in Ahoya. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, um, we have uh, many road openings in Cordova. We make new roads rather than displace people uh, by widening the road. Uh, yeah, because uh, daghan man kayo mong areas nga pwede pa mo mo abligdan. Yes, yes. It's a, it's a coastal gid na mo. Yeah. Uh -oh. So, daghan ming mahimo sa coastal pa na mo. And we plan to have the coastal highway all over Cordova, the circumferential coastal highway. Well, if I, there was a negative I did not like before. The plan no magutos imong dad nga mo abtumbasay ng Mactan Airport. Ako siyang ginan ayaw lagi na day because dako ka ng yuta sa airport. Correct. Dako ka ng yuta. So look at what happened to Mactan Airport nga pila ka bok ektarya na siya nga nga naka silbi naka lingkod na sa Lapu-Lapu City just imagine how big that will sure. nya gamay ra gunang Cordoba ang mahitabo morog should morara mo airport na nan sure. so there was a plan i remember before uh, when i was still close with mayor Osmeña mm. there was a plan nga ilang uh, uh, silbi uh, reclaim certain areas nya butang uh, white beach on both sides na mga resorts in the middle. Mm -hmm. That was a good plan. Mm. Murag na sa kanang ila sa Bahamas. Mm -hmm. So it was a good plan for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, that would have uh, really enhanced the tourism. Yes. Of, uh, no. But yes, naman ko naman ay SM. Yes, sir. Actually, um, uh, Papa changed his mind from airport <laughs> plan <laughs> to... Uh, really development yeah uh, yes uh, I mean the SM one they had already the agreement with us na mag develop sila of 1,500 hectares but it will be islets Dili pwede nga Dili nga. total reclamation uh, okay. yes because we have to have waterways yeah in between of the islets so okay we have the river man Yes. So, dapat free flowing ang water. Correct. Oh, uh -uh. correct. Around Cordova, so SM will develop 1,500 hectares. That is um, almost uh, double the mainland of Cordova. <laughs> 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 we only have 930 hectares. <laughs> That's mainland. true. Yes, and mm -hmm. uh, they will put up um, business centers like here in uh, Cebu, like. Um, MOA in Manila. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So we envisioned that area to be commercial area. And of course, with 
tourism because they they also plan to have uh, a port for cruise ships. Wow. Yes. That will put Cordoba really in the map. Yes, sir. Okay, cruise mo may kuang sa Cebu. Yes, sir. Okay, what good tay kanang what you call uh, docking areas sa uh, cruise ships. Mm. Uh, when, for instance, I'll give you an example. When I traveled to katong among uh, Mediterranean cruise, we went to a place called Mykonos. Mm. A very beautiful place. Uh, si Jackie Kennedy mo yung nakapadako. Ana. Then the ship uh, dock area was about five kilometers from the main port of Mykonos. Mm -hmm. And Mykonos is one area nga nalipay yun eh, kay Guapo, kay Kalawaklaka, mm -hmm. di ka kinilag auto. Mm -hmm. You really go around oh. and the tourists were all with you and it was really a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, that's my uh, vision that Cordoba will be a one-stop destination of all tourists all, all over the country and even all over the world. Well, with, uh, with the airport uh, we have a very beautiful airport run by the uh, Mega Wide, and uh, we're only with the new uh, kind of skyway that will uh, link the airport to Cordoba. Yes. You're only five minutes away from the yes, airport. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 so, tourists have a problem. There are many problems with tourists. Certain uh, tourist destinations in Cebu are what you call too far away. Yes. Kay musakay kapag bus o musakay kapag uh, taxi or whatever uh, tourist bus imong sakyan perting layo ag Japan. Mm -hmm. Bantayan for instance a very beautiful place. My wife yes. come from Bantayan. Yes. And uh, the problem with Bantayan it's 100 Distance. kilometers away, yes. 110 kilometers yes. away to Sagnaya. Uh -huh. So musakay kapag ba uh, air, uh, barko uh, another hour and a half. Mm. So you can just imagine layo gina for a tourist. Yes. So, if SM will develop a tourism, now is the right time. Yes, sir. <coughs> yes, and um, we will make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay, <laughs> Paranaco, SM has the capital, and they have the, what you call, the, not only the financial uh, development, they also have what you call a, what the experience. Pay, experience yes, and sir. the future of uh, SM really. Imagine from SM Seaside ka to another SM. Yes. So from the that bridge uh -uh. connecting two SMs. Put in the kuwa na. Yes, <coughs> yes. Uh, the, uh, they said that would be uh, SM Universe. SM Universe? Yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest SM in the Philippines. Well, that will be something to look forward into. Yes, sir. Like I said, uh, with the SM income that you will have, you will no longer become be a municipio. You will become a city. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, sir. Yes, um, we are uh, into that uh, goal that uh, we will make Cordoba a city. Pero makakuan lang, ang problema lang na ang mga kapuyo di hama mapugos o bayad o city taxes na. Wao na. Wao problema. But anyway, that time, we, we the uh, Cordoban Hons have good opportunities, better opportunities, um, many job opportunities. Yes, true. And even business. Mm. Uh -uh, they can do their own business. Diyan man tayo murag Korean Museum di Hanas Cordoba? Yes, sir. Sa, 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 sa Gabi. That, uh, we call it Happy World. Oh, Happy World, uh, yeah. I heard of that. Uh, yes. Kuan lang siya. Mga drawings, mga ano, um, 3D, 3D pictures. Uh, <laughs> so, nakasulod na ka? Wa pa. I just, pa. I just heard. Oh, and I saw it yeah. on uh, Kuan. I saw it on uh, what you call uh, sa Facebook. Ado niya. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Nindot siya. Maayo. Kuan kayo. <clears throat> Because, uh, you know, Cordoba, you're lucky in the sense that Cordoba is a very, what you call, European name. Okay. Oh, yes. Now, my European, yes. uh, sa Europe, the Cordoba, sa Spain. A Spain also. Yeah. Yes. It's really, Sayon uh, Kes, Sayon Kayo, Kwanon, a litok sa mga foreigner. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh -uh. Cordoba is not a difficult name 
uh, to, to really memorize. Correct. So we'll be <laughs> back with Mayor Trump and okay. this final break. Please don't go away. Bagal kasi. Parang internet mo? Get the Sky Fiber Super Speed Plans. Up to 200 Mbps for fiber fast days. Ako single. Switch to Sky Fiber. First song. Thank you. Bilis makasound trip. Ganyan sa Sky Fiber Super Speed Plans. For today's look. Bilis makaganda. Ganyan sa Sky Fiber Super Speed Plans. Oh! Elu pare. Bilis makavacay. Ganyan sa Sky Fiber Super Speed Plans. The theory of decreasing responsibility explains how your life insurance needs change over time. In the early years, you may need a lot of life insurance coverage, but in the later years, you may not. In the early years, when you're younger, you don't have a lot of money, but in the later years, you'd better have money. How does this fit with your insurance needs? Today, when you're young, loss of income due to a premature death would be devastating. Your children are young and you might have high debt and a house mortgage. Your need for insurance is highest at this time. When you get older, retirement income is needed. Your children are grown, your debts are lower, and your mortgage is paid. If you have savings, you are self-insured, diminishing your needs for insurance. That's the theory of decreasing responsibility. By having life insurance when your financial responsibilities are the greatest, you can have peace of mind knowing your family's future is protected. For our final set, we will talk about the future of Cordoba on its not necessarily big projects like SM, but smaller projects like hospital, public markets, parks, and what else do you have, Mayor? Well, um, I really wanted to finish um, this hospital project of ours, uh, the uh, Cordova Public Market, nga amu ang baguhon, but in the same site, mm. and uh, we're complex, sports complex, uh, amu apung usbon, yeah, and then our park, our plaza. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. And we have also the Centennial Road na food park for mm. the local tourists also, just just by the bay, the ulra sa dagat. And I also plan to put up the seafood market just near the fish landing area mm -hmm. That is important in the sense that if you look into uh, uh, YouTube, for instance, the mga kanabitaong food in the Philippines or food in Cebu, in fact, nigawas na niya ang, ang Cordoba. Bakasi, sir. Sa Bakasi. Yes, sir, <coughs> sa Netflix. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Sikat na kayo nang sa bakasi niya to para na ako, dako kayo nang issue niya. <clears throat> I think I, ang what will happen, butangan ninyo area nga asang bakasi, mga himo, ma, ma, ma baligya. Yes, sir. Uh, we also plan for that. And um, karun ginadagsaan gihapon o local tourist ang amuang bakasihan. And uh, until now, although namatay na ang the father of bakasi, <laughs> Uh, Namatay na to siya? Yes, kasi ni Papa actually. Mm, mm. Uh -oh. So, siya dyan to ang pinakalami nga muluto o bakasi. But, uh, na, na iya raman pong na uh, pasa nga to sa iyang mga anak. So, iyang mga anak kabalupod muluto. Um, so, the legacy is really passed on to the children. And naapagihapon ang amuang lamian nga bakasihan. And they said, ang among bakasi is lahi ragyud ko no, ang bakasi sa Cordova. Lahi ang gigunog lami <laughs> kaysa sa ubang bakasi. I don't know why, pero I think so. Kaya even me, uh, paborito man ako ang bakasi. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya ako, gusto, gusto ko matilawan ng bakasi. Kaya huwag ko katilaw yung bakasi na rin sa subo. Lami ang mong bakasi, sir. <laughs> try, try it. Umadto ka sa Cordoba. Mauna ang, actually, ang mauna akong plano, each barangay 
should have their own special specialties. specialties yes. Uh -huh. So, bale, like, Barangay Buagsong is from, uh, the Bakasi is from Barangay Buagsong. So, mauna siya nga barangay ang mag-specialize sa Bakasi. Naapoy mag-specialize o mga saang. Mm. Naapod um, danggit. Mm. So, amo na, klase-klase na namo i-display sa ato ang tourism center. Our tur tourism center is in Dayas, mm. near the 10,000 Roses. And later on, um, soon, mahuman ang amo ang project with the um, CCLEC also, the, their CSR project, Corporate Social Responsibility, with Mr. Pangilinan. Uh, we have this mangrove propagation and information center. So we also feature our uh, mangroves. Yeah, yes. around Naag is that all the time. Yes, mm -hmm. so naaragid na among mangroves or pinangga na namo. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. ang mga turista po, pwede sa sila makasuri-suri sa mga mangroves. Yes, kaya ka ng mangrove sa ba, anagyan mo, anak mo sana yung mga isda. Mm, yung mga kana environmentalist, mas suko anang ilabta ninyo yung man mangroves. Mm, and that is our protection from flooding. That's or really from true. storm surge. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, kanang para na ako, no, kanang katong pagtanaw na ako sa Netflix sa uh, Bakasi, di ako na intriga. Huwag sa mga lamin. Try, sir. Actually, we have plans na maghimo og sardines out of Bakasi. Mm. Mm -mm. Really, ha? Yes, sir. That kind of, is that kind of, is that? Mm. Yeah. Himo on og sardines. Actually, na anay dry, dry Bakasi. Ah, okay. Kanan, mura siya buwan. Yeah. Uh -oh. So, it's really something that someday I have a reason to go to to Cordoba, not just to visit my son. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of reasons, sir. Especially, um, mausab na ang amo ang market, amo ang gym, and amo ang plaza. And now, ongoing po akong pagpausab sa police station. And even the fire station, amo po nang, amo po nang ipausab. Mm. And we, oh, we will have the uh, building for the coast coast guard so yeah. uh, dag daghan ang mabutang dina ang amo ang terminal also ako nang gipaayo uh, and we have this um, agreement with the private uh, corporation to uh, have a big terminal building in our Roro port naman mi Roro uh, naman Roro port yes uh, so dagsaan mi og taga Bohol mm. uh, every day kay ang biyahe is Cordoba to Hetafe Ah, my mm. <coughs> Actually, um, we are also working with, um, we are talking with Jo Marie, the, mm. the kadang barko ni, ano, um, nga mag-travel na sila for Bohol, kanang Roro Giyod, mm. makasakay ang sakyanan. Yeah, correct. Yes, para mm. ang tourist, muuli rapod with, yes, the, with the car. Yeah. Uh, Kaya ka so, ng Hitafi, probably an hour and a half or less. Uh -uh. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so doon lang ang buhol sa Cordova. Doon, tinood. And hopefully, matuman tong project na gidamgo po ni Papa, <laughs> uh, Cordova Bohol Bridge. No? Well, <laughs> duha na, duha may gidamgo, ana. <laughs> Gipagawa na ako sa, when I was the chairman of the Infrastructure Utilities Committee of the Regional Development Council, uh, I proposed that uh, a, a bridge from Cordoba to Bohol. Bohol. Yeah. Yes. Ga kuan maguko ga at that time ka nagnahuna na ko third bridge to Cordoba then i connect na siya sa Bohol. Yes. So um, ang problema kinsan ko paneha mo mo finance. Mm, the finance. feasibility study is already there. Na na ba? Yes, by Korean. Korean? Uh-uh. -oh. Ang Korean, ko, ang ano, Korean man. Yes. yes, sir. Pero ang finance na lang yun, ang financing na lang yun ang kuan sa project. Well, someday I would like to look at those plants. Mm. Because uh, I've really, I've, this is one of my, what you call, uh, pet peeves sa una. Kay ako ginang, kapila ko masuwat na In fact, the mayor, of, uh, governor of Bohol, uh, asked me, oh, pwede ba siya mo pagawas o kuan ana sa news. Mm -mm. Nigawas na si Inquirer. So, ako nang i-approve na lang niya. Sige, okay na. Wala na kaso kay i-approve naman na namo sa Regional Development Council. Mm -hmm. So, that is a project para na ako that will be good for Bohol and Cebu. Kaya nga no, maka, makadama tag 
kuryente pa doon dito sa Bohol. At the same time, Water. makakuha tag tubig yes. ikan sa Bohol pa doon sa Bohol. Yes, sir. Kaya mo man itong problema sa Cebu, layo na kayong uh, katong Carmen. Supposed to be Carmen man, nagkuha tag tubig Carmen. Mm -hmm. But this will be a 40 plus kilometer na why, why silbing, why lying munisip yung parahan. So, ang tubig ng mga Madrid Sura yun all the way to the city of Cebu. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, including Cordoba. And, uh, give and take. Yeah, it's yes, a give sir. and take project. <laughs> Oo. So, ang damgo ninyo, sir, maanhi na ko. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be my dream also. You know, uh, uh, you can actually, if you can sit down with the Korean people, uh, kanang government, uh, I'm sure they can, they can finance it because they also need something like that. Uh, a huge project that is run by the Koreans. Kaya para na ako makasalig mo ko sa Korean construction. Uh, yes, I've sir. seen many of the Korean uh, infrastructure and they really know how to build things. Yes, sir. Actually, Cordova has the um, uh, a lot of we have a lot of sister cities in Korea. Ah, mo ba? Yes, sir. That's why we have the, I have this program for um, workers to Korea. Mm. The seasonal workers. Mm. Uh -uh. So, bale, magpadala ko nga to o mga tao for three to three to five months training in Korea na maka, ano san sila, maka-alawan san sila nga to training with uh, agriculture and fishing. Mm. Uh, yes, sir. It's, it's a very, very, very good uh, project. Yes, nakapadala na gani ko mga around 200 people. Wow. Mm -mm. And, um, na-stop lang ka diyo tungod sa COVID. Yes, yes. But, Next year, it will resume the program because I have this 10 sister cities in Korea. Ten? Yes, sir. That's really, we, that's really remarkable. <laughs> nga, a small municipio called Kuduba na ay napu kabuok because sister the, cities. The, the son-in-law is Korean. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, ako, maingon lang sa ko nga, kanang 10 cities are what you call lucky in the sense that they have a a what you call future with a, a Cordoba that will soon become a city. Paranaco, that is a plus factor for them. Yes, yes, also. They yeah. have future with us. Yes. Mm -mm. That's a very good, uh, uh, interesting information that you have given us. And really, unfortunately, we run out of time. <laughs> uh, we will be asking Mayor Cho for her parting shot after this break. Please don't go. Okay. <laughs> First song. Thank you. Bilis maka sound trip. Ganyan sa Sky Fiber Super Speed Plans. For today's look. Bilis maka ganda. Ganyan sa Sky Fiber Super Speed Plans. L U pare. Bilis maka VK. Ganyan sa Sky Fiber Super Speed Plans. Let's now ask uh, Mayor Tetsi Sitoy Cho, uh, the mayor of Cordoba, for her parting job. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Well, uh, Sir Bobit, again, thank you so much for having me here. And I look forward to be talking to you more. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to my beloved Cordoban Juans, we have a lot of projects, developments in our town. Although, naata sa crisis karon, but dilita dapat kawadan o... Paglaom nga mo bangon yun ta o mas mukaya ba ang atong lungsod sa Cordoba because we have a lot to offer sa atong lungsgikan sa atong lungsod and of course ang kita nga mga taga Cordoba uh, naaputay daghang mahatag nga mga kaayuhan sa atong mga kasilinganan po sa diri sa ato ang Cebu province so we'll just have to resuscitate our economy through tourism and also we have to take care of ourselves while we are uh, living we are looking for a livelihood sa ato ang mga tagsa tagsang uh, panginabuhian manginaot ko nga dili nato kalimtan ang health protocols nato 
the three basic health protocols, ang wearing of face mask, pang hunaw permi, washing of hands and sanitation, and also the social distancing. And while naninguha ta sa atong mga panginabuhian, uh, ato lang yung protektahan ang ato ang mga uh, kapamilya pinaagi sa pag-amping kung asa mang ganit ang mga lakaw. Uh, and most of all, we, we should pray every day para malampasan ni nato ang krisis. Well, thank you for that, uh, Mayor Mary Therese Techit. Si Toy Cho, Mayor of Cordoba, that is still a municipality right now, but when the third Mactan Bridge or the third uh, bridge spanning the Ch Mactan Channel will be done, I will predict that Cordoba will no longer become a municipio, it will become one of the cities of Metro Cebu. Mm -hmm. And you are looking at the future mayor of that particular city. And really, we have really a very beautiful uh, interview with Mayor Cho. And yes, we learned so much about Cordoba, and Cordoba has imagined 10 uh, sister cities in Korea. And that is really a plus factor for the people of Korea and the people of Cordoba. Mm -hmm. And so we are lucky that uh, Mayor uh, Sitoy, Adi Sitoy, has allowed his daughter to become uh, the future mayor of Cordoba. And we're lucky to have her with us here in Straight from the Sky. And Bobby Tavila, thank you and good night. Mm -hmm.